welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here up at Stag Classics in Alton, not Alton, Alton, with uh, Paul at Stag Classics. And uh, as you can see behind me, there's quite a few stags in the car park ready to be uh, fettled and furnished and worked on. So I just thought I'd show you around some of those before perhaps we look at uh, Paul Stag himself. Uh, he's actually do doing his up, as we know. But uh, let's just have a quick walk around and have a look around. And as we say, we've got, uh, is it four? One, two, three, four, five. There's actually five stags, one under cover as well. Uh, two in that uh, lovely old English white colour. This one's a DEP 897, uh, looking really tidy. And uh, Kind of unusually, it's got uh, the red contrasting leather inside, which I think actually looks very nice. Kind of reminds me of the Volvo Simon Templar style of car. But uh, and for me, you know, I think these um, fixed heads do something for me. I, I quite like the uh, the hard top. I know it helps make the car more secure and probably more all year round. But I think it just adds a certain je ne sais quoi to the style which uh, I think uh, you don't often see. A lot of the hard tops are left in garages and rarely used in favour of the soft tops, obviously. But um, I think this looks particularly nice indeed and uh, with the red leather and uh, decent um, headrests in there as well, as you can probably see, uh, it uh, represents a nice looking car. And uh, just talking to Paul there briefly, this one's going to, have, going to have a new gearbox, so we're going to push it into the carriage shortly. I'm going to get involved in pushing it in. Now moving on to the second one. You'll see the uh, registrations uh, a bit different to the uh, UK ones. And uh, so we've got two different types there. This one apparently comes from Ireland and is over from Ireland for Paul and his team to have a good look at. Again, in the lovely Old English white. Um, excuse the background noise, someone's jet washing something. And uh, look what he's done in here in terms of the uh, engine. It's uh, absolutely pristine. Um, I understand there's some head gasket issues with this one. It needs to be uh, looked at. Not quite sure of the cause, and no doubt we will find out in due course, but it's back in for a head gasket problem. And so that will be looked at in due course. Uh, again, nice style uh, stag wheels. And uh, this one with the soft top on this time. So it's kind of interesting comparing one with the other, hard top behind you, farthest away and soft top nearest with complementary wasp on the uh, the wing there, a bit of a lazy wasp. And um, I don't know, I kind of quite like the, uh, the white wall uh, effect. Uh, I don't think too many people are that much of a fan of them, but uh, again, I think that gives it something a little bit different. Uh, much bolder black uh, trim lines, as you can see on the side there than uh, perhaps normal. They're normally, the pinstripes are a lot smaller than that, generally speaking, but those uh, do stand out. Again, if you look to the car behind, this one's an R-Reg uh, blue car that uh, Paul and his team have completely revamped. Uh, you can see the pinstripes on there are a lot, or appear to be, a lot thinner. And also, though, I've noticed there is a right way and a wrong way. So uh, the big line is at the bottom with the thin line at the top. But uh, yeah, all together, this looks really smart and uh, Paul will be working on this this week, I'm sure, to get it back up to speed. And this is the R Reg one I was just talking to you about. Uh, beautiful colour, nicely furbished. It's had everything thrown at it, at it from suspension to uh, seats 
to um, engine it's even got a, a four branch exhaust in it and when it goes it sounds really really good the uh, exhaust note on it is fantastic uh, it's got a new second hand hard top on it so again there's that stylish look that i kind of quite like it's got the mini light wheels on it so again people have a view of that whether they like those or not i personally prefer the the 1970s look uh, myself but uh, no reason why these aren't uh, just as good it gives it a, a, a different look doesn't it and uh, wires as we saw with Dave's car uh, in the week where we picked up the uh, the tonneau cover from um, looked perfectly fine in the uh, in the wire wheels so um, there you go that's the the blue one on an R-Edge plate um, and here over here we have uh, the last of the four that aren't under cover <clears throat> still more a bit more work to do on this as you notice the uh, bumper has been removed and no doubt we'll be going back on soon uh, J registered again with a soft top uh, all there looking good so uh, a good brace of stags all right guys so um, just a quick uh, resume of the four stags in the car park uh, lots of things going on. I'm sure Paul will be on the case with these over the next uh, few days and few weeks to get them all back on the road and uh, even using the donor car behind me to help others survive as well. It's uh, all very much uh, stag heaven here. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, you following us on Ari the Stag journey. Please feel free to like and subscribe and uh, share the joy. And we'll see you on Ari the Stag very soon. Cheers for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>